The other thing you're going to see is much richer ad formats. So the, the, the banner was really boring. There was a, a banner overdoses. And now what you're going to see is a rich media coming and make the ad much more targeted. So let me get one, the, the ultimate uh, rich media, which is the dynamic ad. So think about this is an ad for a, sun, a, sun, a snowing day. Today is snowing. This ad can be targeted, the headline, the product, the copy can be targeted based on the weather. It's a, a, a snowing day. I'm going to offer advertiser and the users the snow, a product related to snow. But actually, it's not snowing today. It's raining. And if it's raining, then I would offer automatically a, a product related to rain. And I don't need to go to the copy and the creative and to create a new ad. That is going to be a power, a technology enabled. So basically, we can, based on external signals like weather, traffic, political conditions, football match results, you can offer a different ad. Time of the day. So this is going to multiply Remember what I mentioned about explosion of audience. If you multiply explosion of audience plus ability to target the ads based on a lot of uh, environmental signals, this is going to multiply the complexity but also the effectiveness. Because if you do it well, you're going to offer me a cappuccino, hot cappuccino from Starbucks when it's minus four degrees instead of offering me a cold Coke that same day. Nothing against Coke, of course. So this is going to be a very, very powerful way, and we're going to see that not only on the internet, but we're going to see that coming to TV. Your ad is going to be on the fly changed. And changed also on the feedback you got from the user. So if the user does not interact with the ad, why the hell should I continue to bombard them with the same ad? So it's going to also have an implication on how do I allocate my budgets. So I have a campaign running, I have my ad, there's uh, circumstances that changed, I should not serve that ad anymore, either because the, the environment changed or the user does not relate, I can on the fly change my media plan or my ad in that media plan. Today, we cannot do that on TV. So do we do a pre-campaign, we blast the campaign, and then we pray a lot to see the results. And that's a very, very uh, um, expensive pray. So what we need to do is uh, give ability for advertisers and agencies to adjust uh, the, their campaigns as the technology enabled us to do that. Well, apparently it's a sunny day outside, so I think it's a good idea to set up the fence. This is a very American example, but it's exactly what we're talking about. It's our ability to adapt these ads regarding to the, these uh, touch points. And lastly, one thing we're going to see more and more is having these done at a global scale. A lot of the work we do today is adapting uh, copy and creatives globally and translate it with everybody on the creative community hates. We can do that machine. Machines will be able to do most of this work. Adaptation and making this globally available and globally effective. What, what that will drive will drive also a lot of advertisers going from um, off and online um, localizations to global campaigns. So we see more and more advertisers buying global campaigns across sometimes the same media but often different the same creative going around with no more translations, no more adjustions, because the machines will be able to do that on a better um, and more scalable way, leaving the creative space to add value on top of that. Lastly, on these trends, we see social. Is social social media? Is social uh, MySpace is social, Facebook, what is social? Actually, social is life. Life is social, that's why we're here, that's why we have our friends, and what we're going to see is every single media is going to be social. 
a lot of the social uh, signals, friends, activities, recommendations, behaviors, are, those signals are going to be incorporated on the media to provide you a richer experience and for, as a consumer, and a richer um, result for advertisers. So you can watch the Argentinian movie, and I want to celebrate with Argentinians. Of course, you're going to be able to actually chat with people while watching the movie or the match. So this is going to be a very important feature. All media is going to become social. The social features as social signals is going to be, are going to be collected from around the, sp the media space to feed our social experience and therefore the social impact and ability to use it for advertising purposes. So be, be ready for that and be ready to use that on advantage for yourselves and for your advertisers and agencies. <laughs>